I'm going to be very brief in these initial remarks and say just a couple things. First of all, this is a great, a great time to be having this discussion. Um, uh, the, the nature of this challenge that we are all gathered here to, today to discuss really demands a scale solution. And it demands a scale solution at a time where public resources are increasingly constrained and will be constrained for as long as we all care about this issue. So we should not be thinking about a solution where public resources are coming back into the equation once we solve our fiscal problems, right? We're talking about trying to deal with this issue, this deal with this challenge for the next couple decades in an increasingly fiscally constrained environment. We should have no illusions that public money is going to come rushing back in to solve this. Therefore, the role of the private sector is absolutely critical. And we need to understand that, embrace it, and channel it as strategically as possible with the public tools that we have at our disposal. And where we don't have public tools at our disposal and where we see private investment gaps, we need to reverse engineer our solutions to fit the private capital needs. And we need to not be afraid to say that philanthropic and government capital needs to get together to make wealthy investors wealthier. Think about that for a second. The way we solve this problem is to reverse engineer to get the trillions of dollars that Ken is talking about more comfortable entering climate finance. The good news is it's a whole lot easier to do that today than it was five years ago. In the last five years, we've seen cost curves for renewables, solar, wind in particular, but not only, come down 50, 75, 80%. We were talking over dinner last night. We're in a completely different situation now with respect to the economics of deploying commercially ready, accessible, uh, deployable technologies than we were even five years ago. And that's despite the complete boneheadedness of the international discussions and lack of progress that we've seen you know, within the multilateral dis uh, formats. So we're in a very good position now to, to lean in on renewable deployment and to think very strategically about how we unlock the trillion, the billions, the million, hundreds of millions, the billions, and perhaps even the trillions in in, um, in uh, commercial capital that's sitting on the sideline. 